Welcome back guys. This is not our typical video, but it was something I wanted to bring to light because it's happened again and I feel like too many people are being scammed nowadays out of their hard earned money by scammers in other countries and literally just scammers anywhere. And this one in particular is with this tractor right here, which we originally wanted 5,000 bucks for, just for context, um, and Facebook Marketplace. So let's dive into this video and explain how scammers are out there everywhere and you gotta be careful and don't send money anywhere that you don't know for sure where it's going to. So, we've been through this before, a few years ago. Um, maybe some people will remember the video from about a year and a half ago. We're gonna make another one here. And you may think, Bruce, this doesn't match your content. It doesn't make sense about why you're posting this on your trucking YouTube channel, because we buy and sell farm equipment. But at the end of the day, I care about my viewers and I care about other people that don't deserve to be scammed out of their hard-earned cash. So here we've got a 1999 Mahindra E350DI, classic unit, very reliable old school tractor, and it's in beautiful shape with only like 700 hours on it for what year it is, and you know, I really like the tractor, honestly, and I might keep it now, who knows. It's currently in my backyard, because we're completely moved out of the old shop now, we've got just a few tractors left. Uh, but anyways, to our story here, so, YMA is this person's name, Yuma Wa. So Y-M-A-W-A-U-G-H, whatever that means. This person messages me says, I will, I will like to buy it. Does it work perfect? If yes, I'd like to know if you accept check as a means of payment, which I can mail out the check through UPS overnight. After you clear the check, we can schedule pickup. Thanks. Yeah, I like, yeah. Had some people mail us checks by things sight unseen, but usually speak on the phone. They would never give me their phone number though. So right off the rip, I'm like, this is definitely a scam. You know, I'm very familiar with the way they do things. I'm like, yes, keeping everything short and sweet. And uh, they says, okay, I need your name and address. So I give them our shop address, you know, where nothing, my home, and you know, personal information. Never, ever give personal information unless you've spoken to someone on the phone and you can make a judgment for yourself that they might be a real person. So I give them the shop address. They said, good morning, I've mailed the check. Here's the shipping, you know, the tracking number. Here's our check here. Um, I said, okay, I got it. They said, you can proceed to deposit the check and after that, send me a picture of the deposit receipt so I can check that I have it for record purposes, whatever that means. And I ignored them for a day, let them soak on it. They said, have you deposited? I said, yes. And they said, kindly send a picture of deposit receipt and they never said it this time, right? So they sent me a check for $7,000 instead of 5,000, which is what I said I'd take. And I said, why did you send $7,000? They said, I added money, classic here, I added money for my mover that will come pick up after the check clear. I said, check is cleared, I cashed it. They said, okay, I, I haven't checked my account to know if it was debited. I will check in a minute and get back to you. And then I can call my mover and to pick it up. I said, any time. So it gets even better. Let me reach out to my mover. They can pick it up tomorrow, Friday. This is, a, like I said, two, three weeks ago now. But I'm not sure they'll be awake right now which is very odd because it was like five o'clock in the afternoon. I said, okay. I said, I'll call and talk to you in the morning. So I ignored them for like two or three days. They start blowing up my phone. Um, and what they mean by sending a check for $7,000 is they want you to pay. They don't tell you that at the beginning. And what will happen is you think, dang, they overpaid me. Heck yeah. Well, what they want you to do is now take that extra 2,000 bucks, whatever it may be when scammers send you a check like this when they overpay, and they want you to take that money and send it to the shipper, which is usually the scammer. So they give you a PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, whatever it is, and they want you to pay that money. So then while this check is in your account for two or three days, it usually takes about a week for the bank to catch on that these account numbers don't go nowhere because the routing number and account number are valid, but they're not good. It usually takes, like I said, two to three days for that to happen. So in those two to three days, they get you to send the $2,000 from this check when you currently have $7,000 in your account back to them, which when the bank catches up, say, oh, this check's bad, and now your account is debited the $7,000. So once you send that money to them, they've got your two grand, and boom, they disappear in the thin air. I knew all this already. So... Along with that, they asked me uh, to cash out Desiree Brown, whoever that was. Um, and they said, it's the 
it carefully, then will you please send $500 first to make sure they get it. So they're at least hoping to get 500 out of you that quick because sometimes you can't send more than 500 or 1,000 or even 1,500 on Cash App. So I'm messing with them right here. I, they said, have you sent it yet? I said, I sent it. They're like, oh, I haven't got it yet. I said, I've sent it already. You know, they're starting to freak out thinking they missed out on this 500 or 1,000 whatever dollars I might have sent them. <laughs> so I said, I sent the money. They said, are you there? Can we just conclude about this, please? I'm sorry to bother you. Was it 500 you sent or the whole $2,000? I need to know so I can prepare the shipper to come pick it tomorrow. I said, I sent $2,000. So now they're really freaking out. <laughs> they said, can you take a picture of the confirmation after you sent it and send it here? I didn't they say anything back. I said, they said, if <laughs> this is when they start going on the defense, thinking they're going to get me. They said, if this is a joke on here, I wouldn't have choice then to contact my bank and report my check stolen i have done my part of the deal so they're trying to like scare tactic me this is a pretty freaking up there scammer right my phone and i said well, what's your phone number let's talk on the phone about this they said my phone number has nothing to do with this i have been in the hospital taking care of my husband since two days now i also tried my possible best to issue out a check to you as busy as i am so if you don't want to do your own part it means something is fishy so now they're trying to say i'm being fishy I said, well, I want to talk to you and figure this all out. They said, my husband's on life support. Dang. And I can't pick up on a call while I'm here, but why? You said you've sent 2000 you did not send it. I asked for a receipt, and of the 2000 you couldn't send it. What do you want to figure out? Tell me. I said, I want to talk on the phone. What's so hard about that? This is a simple question. They said, ask your simple question here. I said, no. I want to talk on the phone. <laughs> Then they said, you make me look stupid telling my mover <laughs> that the payment has been made so I can schedule a pickup with her. Everything about this is fishy. I'll write my account officer when I am done to report my check and then I can have my money back in my account. So they're trying to, they're trying to scare me. Any old Joe, maybe an elderly person that would have been scared. They would have fallen for this, right? I said, okay, scammer, you think I'm dumb? You're not the first person to send this bull shite check like this and then what happens they left the chat oh. so life lesson guys be very 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 careful when you're taking payments like a check in the mail don't ever let something leave your possession unless you know for sure it's been cleared and look out for the telltale signs right like this check has got the the mark on there it's a real check you know the the safety marks but you can barely read the name. It's a company out of San Francisco, California, the Bank of America in Illinois. And then the name on the letter sent to you is in St. Paul, Minnesota. And then the person messaging you on Facebook is a completely different name. So right there, there's four different things that don't match in any way saying, hey, this thing is fake. Because if you would've went to the bank, say, you know, this is the last tractor I had. I am so broke. $5,000 is all the money I would have in the bank gave me this money, right? And I took it out, and then my account would be in the negative when they found out this check was fake. And what if I went out and spent that money, or you went out and spent that money? Then you're out that money, you owe the bank money, and everybody's mad, and you're in a bad spot. And then on top of that, you may have sent the scammer 2,000 bucks, which now you owe the bank $7,000. So be very aware of buying and selling things online. Make sure you inspect things if you can, if you feel comfortable, get videos of things running, whatever it may be, tractors, cars, literally anything online. Make sure the person you're buying and selling from is verified. So I hope you enjoy when I bring these things to light and it maybe makes people more aware of things on the internet. Be very, very careful. With that being said, tractors here at my house. We got a old farm tractor, old, old John Deere. We gotta unload out front and get it put in my front yard so my wife can put some pots and plants around it. Let's go do that. So this old John Deere right here is when we had sitting out in front of our old tractor shop when we were on the highway, but now we're off the beaten path. I don't really care about having something that looks old and rustic sitting out front. So we're gonna take this old tractor and put it right here in my front yard. <laughs> yard ornament. Why not? So, uh, let's get it unloaded. <laughs>
got a tractor put in our front yard right here in downtown. So, city's got something mad to say about that. I want to say a lot to them about this huge, dumb sidewalk they put right through my front yard. And yes, yeah, see down there? They had to build the sidewalk up a whole foot. A whole foot to just go around a stupid tree, which down the road they've cut trees down to put the sidewalk. But what do they do? They just go right out and around. Insane to me. And then they, what do they do? They fill all this, they backfill all this in with rock, concrete rock. Like, give me a break. Whatever. We live in this city. I got to find something to complain about or I wouldn't be a uh, city living man. So make sure you guys smash the like button. Comment down below if you've ever been scammed like that. I hope you haven't. If you've had any stories like that, I want to hear yours. And subscribe. Go to brucewilsonshop.com. Get entered to win. The blue collar cab over. Get your tri taxi t shirt. Blue collar trucking hats. All kinds of cool stuff there. Every dollar spent is one entry, guys. We'll see you later. Peace.